What's up, guys? It's Chris. Welcome to BHP Engines. <clears throat> There's a quick one right there right, for today, um, or, or right now at least. Um, due to my recent plight with losing so many potential builds because of uh, machine work required blocks, I have four fucking K series blocks that I can't do anything with without going to machine shop. Uh, one needs to be line honed, two needs to be overboard, and one needs to be decked. Uh, so, in recent light of that, I figured I'd talk about something else that you should bring with you when you're going to buy a head or a block. All right. Besides checking just the, the, the cylinders for damage, you also need to try and eyeball you know the deck real quick. Um, now, deck warpage isn't as prevalent as head warpage, um, but still is a good thing to check. Uh, it's, it, don't just take a ruler. You need a precision straight edge. You need the weight and the balance of one of these bars, not just a little fucking or whatever random thing that you can find that you think is flat. That's the reason why it's called precision straight edge, right? It's precise, very precise measurement. And you're dealing with very, very fine and small measurements here, so you really need to make sure you have the right tool to do it, right? Uh, so it seems like the rule of thumb is for for aluminum uh, shit is two thousandths of an inch, and that goes for the head and the block. Um, so what I normally do is what I've been checking for the longest time is I've been using three thousandths of an inch. If you can't, you put the, the straight edge and the angles that you're supposed to put on on the head and the block, and you try to slide the three thousandths of an inch under. If you can't slide under, good. That's what it's supposed to be. It's a straight block. If you're finding gaps where you're fitting it in, um, then you could be having a serious problem. Now, well, my rule of thumb is I've used like uh if I can fit the three thousands in, but it's still dragging, then I'll go up to a four. And then if that fits in, the four fits in. Then you need to deck it. If the, um, if the four is is still having some serious resistance or not going in, then I might still good consider using it. Uh, considering that's two thousands of an inch bigger than what it would be the recommended. But that's you know, that's like I said, I know I normally check with three thousands, and I've never had a problem. Um, same thing with the would go with the head. Uh, now you can look up the individual warpage limits for your block and your head. So, but just you know whatever that measurement is, make sure you get a set of feeler gauges and you get a precision straight edge. It doesn't take too long to do it. Just make sure that when you're checking the head or block that you have it on a flat surface, and also that the surface is as clean as debris as you can because the measurements are so fine that anything that could potentially raise the bar up can throw off your reading and make you think you have something that's fucked up. And I don't know if it's like, a, you know, what your machine shop charges, but to deck to deck a, a head or a block down here, it's $125. So if you're spending $50 on a block and you have to deck it, that fucking sucks. You could buy two more blocks and a half with uh, that, that price that you're paying for the decking. So this is one of those things where if you don't have to do machine work, then, then don't because that's money saved for other things. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and peace.